Hi guys, it's Christina from the Ladies League here. I'm here with Aiden O'Neill from Melbourne City. Aiden, thank you so much for taking the time out to speak to me. How have you been? Yeah, no, I'm um, looking forward to the chat that we're going to have. Um, but yeah, I've been really good. Obviously, we've been in pre-season for a while now. Um, so that's been an interesting experience. Uh, it all starts tomorrow um, with the FFA Cup. So we're all really looking forward to it. And I'm looking forward to a big season ahead. Crazy times ahead. It has gone from zero to 100 really quick after lockdown has sort of ended for everybody. Um, but comparing it to last season, so last season was quite tough on you guys, especially with Melbourne. It, it was probably one of the harshest lockdowns you guys have been. How did that affect you as a football player? Yeah, look, um, it, it, it was very difficult. Uh, you know, I only moved to the club last season as well. So I came in and I was straight into lockdown. So... And we, we were in it for a while um, and also, you know, in and out. Like, So it was very difficult. Um, it was just football, football, football. And sometimes, you know, it's good to have a – well, it is – it's good to have a balance um, in life in all, all things. And, uh, yeah, you just definitely need a balance. So that was, that was a difficult part. Um, but, yeah, once it opened up, you know, a few weeks ago, you could really see people in the public and – just how how cheerful they were and happy and and I think it, this sort of you know the COVID situation has really made people slow down a bit and um, I, I feel like everyone's come out of it with a, a new aspect of life. Did you expect the season that you came into Melbourne to be winning both the Premier Plate as well as the uh, the league title? I knew that we were going to have a very very good team. Um, I knew that they obviously wanted to do that, and we all did. Um, but I think you can never predict, you know, that sort of season. Um, you know, there was a lot of new players that came in, especially, you know, a brand new manager. Um, so I think, yeah, it was incredible. Rapid fire question here. We'll start off on. We'll finish it off on something a little bit more easier. So I'm just yeah. going to go through a few questions here, bring up the vibes a little bit. But some of them are like really weird questions, but some but, of them are quite funny when you think about it. There's only four here, but Melbourne, of course, is is known for its coffee. Everybody talks about Melbourne coffee. It's better than anywhere in the world. Yeah. Well, probably, let's just say Australia, because there's not only does Sydney and Melbourne fight each other over coffee, and we fight over each other about everything, but we'll go with coffee. Are you a big coffee drinker? I do enjoy coffee, yes. And is it better in Melbourne than anywhere else? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's, it is good, but I good think question. everyone says it. So, like, yeah. you jump on the bandwagon saying it's good. Like, it's really good in Brisbane as well. Yeah. Yeah. Who was the best humour in the squad so far? I'd probably say Griffo. Georgeski or Kalikovsky? Ooh. <laughs> That's tough. I mean, they look so similar, so. Yeah, it's just morphed into Dead Daniel. <laughs> yeah. Collar is with us now. Yeah. <laughs> How many seagulls have you struck or almost struck while playing at Amy Park? Funny, we all, we talk about it a little bit. You honestly can't see them when you're playing. I oh, really? What it is. I don't know if it's they're always the opposite side. So if we're up attacking one way, they always fly to the other side. Yeah. But I think you're that focused. Some if the if the play stops, you see them. Yeah. Yeah, but nah, I'm none. I thought that'd be part of the criteria. Like you signed for a Melbourne side, and you're bound to strike one in your career. I know. It's it's, <laughs> it's yeah. They should they should get I don't know train an eagle or something to keep them away. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm we'll not... get the APL onto them. I mean, you know, yeah. it's a new vision, new, new start to the world, so why, why not? Yeah. Last but not least, very important question. It's a very important question amongst TLL and our supporters. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I can't believe it. 95% of the fan pays go for pancakes. I'm really? the 5% with waffles. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, I will say, though, I'm gluten-free, so I can't actually eat either one. Oh. Or I, I can have gluten-free pancakes. So yeah. Many- there that's gluten free. I, I feel your pain, um, but yeah, they've got you know they've got gluten free pancakes. So I'd say I'd, I'd stick with pancakes. Winner. Before we finish off, the first game is not a derby like all the other clubs. Ha- well, majority of the clubs are having, but it is a very very important game because it's at home. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling for that first game at home of the season? I think everyone's just excited for it to be starting. To be honest, um, you know it's a different feeling going in as you know, champions, but I think, you know, especially our manager, PK, he's really been, you know, we, we can't just live off that, you know, we're, 
of, of last season. We've got a this season's a new season, um, and we've got to create, you know, a new a new journey and and you know and see where that takes us. Obviously, our aim is to do the double, but you know we can't just concentrate on that. We need to, you know to process game by game. New chances, new opportunities ahead. It all happens on November 19th at 7.45 p.m. Looking forward to it. I'm just as excited as you are for the season to be going ahead. Thank you so much for your time and all the best for the season ahead, Aiden. Nah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, to all the listeners, thank you very much. I'm going to try to end it. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs>